Hello YouTube, what's up? It's Jackintosh7, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys an unboxing and maybe a installation of um, this new wireless card I got for my Hackintosh um, slash gaming computer. Now, I don't know if this is going to be working with the Hackintosh, it's just uh, to test it out. I don't have Mac OS X currently running on my computer, but um, I will in the future, so if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to upgrade the card. Um, so... As you can see, it's by Asus, um, which is a really good company. They're not really known for their networking products, mostly their motherboards. Um, so, it's this is the model number, if anyone's interested. PCE, it's a PCI Express, go, um, as you can see by the picture. Um, it, uh, PCIe adapter, um, and it has wireless N, and it has 300 megabytes uh, data great and um, quick setup wireless connection and AP software AP um, and up here it says fast networking solution and then it has fast easy stable that's what I guess it stands for on the side it basically says the same thing two year warranty um, and yep same thing on the back and then over here it says compatible hardware. It's not gonna just go out of the right go right out of the box and say that Mac OS X is compatible. Um so um so it does support uh Linux and Windows 7. Um so let me zoom in on that. Focus there we go. Um and speeds yeah. Alright, so this is the back. Um, and just take a quick look at the back, and then I'm going to unbox this. So, zoom out, have my, uh, my knife right here, and find the best way to open this. It's just plastic wrap, so. Um, so, throw this right there, and it should, oh, opens from the bottom, and here we go. So, let me move my camera down a bit, on oh, tripod, and here we go. This is what you get when you first open the box. It says VIP member warranty notice. Um, so this is just warranty information, I guess you send this in, and, uh, they have you on file. Um, directions, quick start guide, um, pretty self-explanatory to install it. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah. Drivers, very interesting. Um, we have an antenna bracket right here. Um, two antennas. You can see it right here, too. So those go in like this. You're gonna have to read on how to put them in. Uh, I don't really know how. So, and then right in this anti-static bag, we have the wireless card itself. So, let's take this out, and there we go. This is this is it. Um. So, it I really can't say much about the construction and stuff, but it does feel pretty good. I'm not exactly sure what this does. If this goes on like that. Or, I think it's unnecessary. And then the antennas just screw on like this. Oops. Hey, it looks like they screw on like that. And then you can adjust the positioning. So, take that off for now. And, yeah. I'm gonna install it now. So, uh, I'm gonna put it all together and install it. So, I just wanna look at the directions first. Just to make sure I know what I'm doing. This is my first wireless card. So, 
I'm going to put it back in the anti-static bag. And after I read everything, and I will be over by my computer. And we will put it inside of, inside of it. So, yeah. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shut your computer off. Uh, pretty common sense. So, you know how to do that, hopefully. So just shut your computer down. And then, um, once that's completely done shutting down, and it's done shutting down because I have an SSD, um, we can unplug the cables from the back of the computer and um, the power note, everything to make it easier. So, Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have enough room in your case for it. Hopefully you already took that into consideration before buying um, this card. So I'm going to be putting mine right here. Um, where I have my Express, uh, PCI Express, and, uh, hopefully it, it should work, really doesn't have any reason not to work. It is close to my video card, so, I don't know, I might have to move my video card over, um, so, I don't really know. First thing you're gonna want to do, though, is take off the, um, these screws right here, um, to your, uh, what is that, to the PC, let me show you, take these screws out right here. Right there, so let me go do that. Alrighty, so I took that off, and uh, now we're gonna take the card. There, this here's the card. Um, and I'm just gonna see how to line it up. So looks like it goes like this. And there we go, it should fit in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some pressure to firm and to put it in. And then I'm going to put the antennas in. And then what you're going to do is put the screw in um, to lock it in place. So let me just install it. Um, let me just put that in the little PCI slot. Alright, the card is now mounted in as you can see. Um, so now what I'm going to do is uh, make sure you put your thumb screw in um, the one that you took out to take the uh, the little this little slot you're gonna want to put that back in um, so I already did that but right there as you can see put it back in so you can see the card is very small pretty little profile because it's so small put that you're gonna want to put that back in and now we're going over to the side here, and you're going to want to screw on the antennas. Um, it's not going to be too hard of a job. So you can see it goes right there. So um, it doesn't really matter which one goes on. There we go. There's one. And now for the second one. Make sure that they're pretty firmly on not too firm but pretty firm and make sure it's turning at the base and not at the tip because at the tip right over here this is where you turn it um for your to get your signal mine's gonna be facing down because my wireless router is downstairs so it's gonna be facing in this direction i would say and probably down so yeah Alrighty, i'll just move them up for now and I'm going to put my side panel back on and plug it in and boot it up and we're going to then install the drivers. So, let's do that. Alrighty, so I found the, my uh, DVD drive. So now I'm going to be putting in the drivers, uh, the driver disk. And there we go. And it should load up. So. That picture looks better. Yes, it does. Turn my light off because this is fixed. Uh, oh, idea. I don't have autoplay. I turned autoplay off, so I'm going to have to go to computer and then right here. And now we'll open it. And so there we go. The disc is spinning up. Yes. And now we wait. 
so that wasn't too hard. Now we just have to hope that it works. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit the first option, which is install Asus WLAN card utilities and driver. Um, you're going to want to hit that, the first option. And there we go. So now it's going to walk us through this. Um, so hit next. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Hit next. I want that on my C drive. So this is really your preference right here at this point. And now it's going to, ins going to install the drivers and the utilities. It shouldn't take too long, so I'm going to... I'll just pause the video anyway, and I'll be back when it's done. It shouldn't take too long. Alrighty, um, it finished uh, with that install process. Now it says... Now installing ASUS, so it was just really loading the drivers and everything. Uh, now it's installing everything, and we're going to have to restart our computer. So we're going to hit finish, and our computer will restart. Alrighty, so here I am with my, at my, with my screen uh, recording software, and this is my desktop. So uh, this popped up. It might not pop up for you if you checked off the option not to use the ASUS software. I wanted to use the ASUS software because I wanted to try it out. Um, so if you didn't, uh, I don't know what they're talking about here. Um, if you didn't, then you can you just go to, uh, you know how you would usually do it on Windows. Um, so in here, what you'll do is you're gonna want to select uh, your wireless and then hit um connect and then you're going to want to put in your password and everything and it's just going to work and i really like this because you have all these things the status the, w the wps and the configuration i'm not going to show you this because there's a lot of private information on this um so i'm not going to show you all the uh all those but it is i really do like um like this it tells you your speed as you can see my speed is awful right now um this car does get 300 megabits mega, megabytes per second but um my router is awful so that's why it's not working but uh, it gives you signal strength and then windows gives you the signal strength my uh my computer is upstairs in my room but and my router is downstairs so that's also not helping but um yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I think it's really cool, this uh, new thing. It shows you the network type, the security, encryption, the MAC address. I'll blur that out. But I really do uh, like the software. So um, I really happen to like the wireless card. I've had it for like a day now. Um, I forgot to make this part of the video <laughs> when I got when I uh, when it was done installing all the drivers after I restarted it. So I'm just doing this now, but it's gonna look the same for you either way. Um, so that's really for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. I do plan on doing a review for this, and um, I'll be doing a review soon for my Galaxy graphics card, uh, which is a GT. Uh, an NVIDIA GT 640, I think. I don't really know off the top of my head. Okay, let's check, actually. Yes, GeForce GT 640. So, I'll give you a review on that. It's actually a pretty good card. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.